Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Next, I am planning to show you that how to check these Toyota Camry cars, this rare areas, this brake juice status. That how thick, actually how thick or how thin they are, because there is specific amount that how what is this thickness in this rare areas brake juice. Okay, and then I start my job so that I take this. Uh, feel and tire away and I open those bolts and I take tire away and then I lift up a little bit that car body. Okay, and then we continue. Okay, and this my job starts so that I need that size of socket, what size is 21 millimeters. Here is 21 is this 21 millimeters, 21 millimeters, and then of course a little bit longer bar that I can open this, then I insert this in my bolt in here, in that way, now I open this first bolt. Okay, and then I, I do so that I open this all bolts a little, little bit, in that way, and I, I, don't, I don't open those too much, only one rotation, and then I lift that my feel up because it is easier to open these bolts when this feel and tire is ground. Okay, and then I open also those three other bolts, and then we continue. Okay, and now there is a situation that all bolts are loosened, and then I little bit lift up this car body using this my jack and we can use some jack or lifting system that we little bit lift up in that way. Okay and we need to lift up this only so much that this feel is in like air. It is like flying. And next I take those bolts away and I will do that next. Okay, and then, then I am opening these bolts and now I can only use this one, one socket and I rotate this. And there is first bolt in here. And now I take all of these bolts away. This is Right, now moves, and then I have take all of these bolts away. I can I can lift that feel out. This tire. Okay, there is a second. Okay, and three bolts left. Okay, and now when all bolts are free, I can insert my fingers in here and lift that. Okay, and my friend is testing her motorcycle, if you hear, hear something, motorcycle sound. Okay, and now next step is to take this brake room away, and I start to work with that. Okay, then this brake room uh, removing, it happens so that normally this brake room is always uh, quite stuck, but sometimes we can take that out in this way, that we only insert our hand in here. But this is quite an unnormal situation, because normal these, these uh, brake rooms, they are rusty and difficult to open, and that we need next two opening bolts. Toyota they are so excellent manufacturer that they have made in here two bolts holes, first, second, and this is standard bolt that goes in that hole. Then I only, then I only a little bit rotate that. And this bolt is something like this bolt sides and length 
could be a little bit longer because now I have issue that I I don't have the specific length bolt, but let's look at how this my bolt works. And there is a little bit longer. But first I need to rotate rotate these bolts in these holes. Okay. That one also. Okay, now they are in there, and then we need friends. If we start to rotate that. There are some. Maybe this my bolt is. Okay, because now there is issue that this my bolt don't work, but I use then this only one bolt. And there is idea that. Then I start to rotate that's my bolt in this way. An idea is that when this bolt goes in there deeper, it same time, same time moves the, this room away. And we need to rotate that sometimes same amount what is this bolt length, what is like one inch or something like two to three centimeters. And now I rotate that. And now this my room is moving and it is good if we have two bolts in same time that we can rotate these bolts easily. Now I need I have only that bolt and now I can I can move that in this way and then when this this is enough. I changed that my bolt in this second hole. And now, now I have two that bolt drops, but I insert that in here. In that way. Good. And then I rotate that. And now it's and, and suddenly we can feel that hey now this is loosened. Now we can see that this moves nicely. And okay, let's look at and sometimes it this room makes sound. Okay. And it is uh, it is good to use so that we have two bolts because now this work is a little bit little bit uh, slow because I I need to change that my bolt in side by side but this is the idea. Okay, now I rotate in here. Okay. And, and that Better, and then, then suddenly this room opens. And if we need longer bolts, we need to purchase longer bolts that, that we can take this room away. And this is this idea. Okay, good. And now we have taken that room away, and room looks like that. And then we can continue our job. Okay, and then I am planning to show you you that how to check this our brake juice, this lining material thickness and how much there must be and or at there must be this material and how we can measure that. And now there is a situation that this material is just this upper part in here and this part is like metal. And this is metal and this area is this lining and this breaking shoe material and, and here we can also see this is this material and this is this metallic base. And now I am measuring that amount's thickness and we need some tool and I have very handy tool what is this professional measurement tool and there is in that car there is in this Toyota Camry car there is this this uh, recommendation that this lining, this breaking juice thickness 
must be and should be uh, more than 1.5 millimeters. And that means that when I measure that in that way, let's look at how much I have this thickness. I take a little bit bigger view that we can see how I'm measuring. This part in here is this thickness part, and then I insert that in here, and then I move that carefully in here, and then we can look in here this result. And now there is result that I have almost four millimeters. Four. Four to five millimeters. And that means that I have very good brake juice thickness in here. And then it's also good to measure in that another side because sometimes there can be difference between those two. And now I check. And there we have this thickness. Well, this also about four to five millimeters. Okay, and that means that that now this area is also cool. Okay, and here was this information that how we can check this Toyota Camry cars, this brake juice thickness, and this check works also in those all other cars that we we need to only check that what is this manufacturer's recommendation but two millimeters is normal this minimum amount in here okay thank you and have a nice day to you